You can be money wise. You can be otherwise. You can be money wise. You can be otherwise. You can't handle the truth. The Gabriel Wisdom Show. Financial Wisdom Weekdays, coast to coast here on the radio affiliates of the Business Talk Radio Network, and then for posterity, so that it's not just lost in the ether. Uh, after the radio show, we have the podcast at businesstalkradio.net. You can get those podcasts, the archives, and the free stuff as well at my website. Go to gabrielwisdom.com. If you're just joining us, Louis Ferranti uh, was uh, our guest for the first half, his book, Mob Rules, a former Gambino family uh, mafia me- uh, member. He wrote what the mafia can teach the legitimate businessman in his new book, Mob Rules. Great stuff. A lot of fun, too. And the podcast version is available uh, if you're just joining us. What would you do if you could accurately predict the stock markets in the United States and Europe with 80% accuracy? Well, you'd make a lot of money, wouldn't you? Um, Nobel Prize nominee and econophysicist Robert D. Taylor not only says it can be done, he's uh, been doing it publicly now for seven years by measuring the effects that gravity has on human behavior. Robert D. Taylor is a research scientist and successful businessman. His focus in econophysics earned him a nomination for the Nobel Prize in Economics in March 2000, and his research has been vital to the development of economic uh, modeling software, Zyber 9. Uh, For decades, Mr. Taylor has worked with many of the world's leading scientists in scientific fields, including astronomy, control system identification, and uh, Robert, something called ego physics. Uh, first of all, welcome. Thanks for joining us again. What's ego physics? Yeah, now ego physics. I have no clue. I think it's a typo, Gabe. That would be a kind of physics. <laughs> <laughs> ego physics. Yeah, well. that might be a problem we all have. But uh... <laughs> well, yeah, well, okay, I... that makes sense. Econo physics. Yeah. Well, that now that, I, I think I could guess what that might be. Right, right, and that, that's the field that I've been studying and, and developing. Uh, you know all the stuff that I do in the, with the markets, and uh, we talked in 2008. You, you and yes, we did. Then and and back then the book came out uh, 2006, and in 2007 I started a trading strategy where I traded live trades on my website and updated them on a weekly basis, and that went on for three years. So uh, anyhow, been doing this a long time. Yes, yes, you have. Now, by the way, the book is called Paradigm. It's a novel that Business Week called The Da Vinci Code for the Wall Street Set. It's a good book. I have a copy, and I enjoyed reading Paradigm. The code, what's the code, Robert Taylor? Yeah, well, the code is, uh, well, it's termed, they, they term it the code. What it is, it's <clears throat> the discovery I made, which, is to, which was to figure out how to measure fl- gravitational fluctuations and apply those fluctuations to different scientific arenas. <clears throat> and so once I was able to figure out how to measure gravity, uh, I could I could graph gravity as far back as I wanted to or as far forward as I wanted to. So using all the databases of different uh, scientific arenas like medicine, psychology, and in particular economics, I was able to correlate whether or not <clears throat> these principles applied are correlated with gravitational fluctuations. And as it, as it proves out, it did, uh, remarkably so. And uh, so if, if the term code is figuring out how gravitational fluctuations are measured. Hmm. Okay, so in 1987, you made this discovery. It's, uh, it's called the Taylor Effect. And is, is it based on the financial markets uh, expansion and contraction uh, d- directly correlated to increases or decreases in gravitational influences from the moon and the sun and other, uh, you know, uh, astral uh, bodies? Uh, right. Well, uh, gravity is complex in, in that, the, the three bodies, the earth, moon, and sun. And the, the Taylor effect is the name of a, the essay that I had written uh, that's in the back of Paradigm that explains in detail the scientific uh, properties of in the mathematics of how I did it. Uh, basically, if you get it down to the economic uh, arena, is uh, if if the market's expansion and contraction is moving up, then gravitational fluctuations are moving down and moves in opposite uh, direction. 
so uh, the the net effect of the whole thing is is as you know with cyclicity of markets and cycles, it pretty much acts like a sine wave that you you can visually see. Uh, what gravitational fluctuations do is they act similar, the same particular sine waves, and they correlate up uh, very closely to it. The essay fulfilled uh, something that I had to do was to publish this paper in order to qualify for the Nobel nomination. So at the back of paradigm for all the scientists and researchers who want to know the mathematics behind this, that's where it sits. Mm -hmm. In the front of book paradigm, the front of the book, uh, for the average person, it's a it's a fictional story, but my characters do everything that I did in uh, you know, learning this discovery, figuring out how to use it, how to trade it, how to make a lot of money. Uh, but they had a whole lot more fun than I did, and, and uh, taller, more handsome. and, and uh, <laughs> <clears throat> That's right. Well, because they're characters in a book. Correct. You can use your imagination. <laughs> they're perfect right. or imperfect, depending on how you create them. Uh, the book is called Paradigm, by the way, a novel. Uh, for uh, for those of us who love financial markets and also uh, some science, Robert D. Taylor joins us. Uh, Robert Taylor uh, was uh, nominated for the Nobel Prize in economics back in uh, year 2000 for his paper, which describes the effects of gravity on financial markets, the Taylor effect. The website, by the way, is x 9 T T is in tango, x 9 T dot com and Robert Taylor is here on the Gabriel Wisdom Showgram of the Business Talk Radio Network. How does the U.S. and global economy look throughout the rest of 2013 based on the Taylor effect? I think well, what I show is is pretty much similar to what other people are guessing. Is I think we're going to see a little bit of a retracement here over the next you know just maybe four or five weeks, but I think uh, rallying on into the end of the year. Uh, you know, and it's not surprising given the fact that uh, the little gravy train we've been riding with uh, fed the Fed quantitative easing program. <clears throat> but one of the, the big things that everybody faces as far as uh, investments go is uh, the markets are sitting at all-time highs, and I think most of the market makers and the speculators are sitting with trigger fingers waiting to, to sell in the event that something causes a rollover. Um, the interesting thing about the, the, the re-release of my book, Paradigm, is when, I, when it came out in 06, I made a lot of promises that I could be over 83% accurate. And so the reason we re-release it now, we have seven and a half years of U.S. market forecasts that were made one week in advance. And uh, uh, the European market, equity markets, the FTSE and DAX, and currency markets – um, so anybody can go to the website x9t.com and go back and look at all these past forecasts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all there. You don't. You're not. Right. I'm not. Uh, yeah, you're not hiding. Anything. Not promising anything anymore. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I actually have the proof. Mm-hmm. And the other thing that really interests me uh, with my subscribers, I, I spend most of my time with the website in answering subscriber questions. Is I wanted them to be able to easily use uh, a forecast, weekly forecast. Uh, how can you make money using weekly forecasts? And that's when I started the trading strategy. Okay. Where right. I was, okay. now, now, Robert, how does the Taylor effect work? Is it based on the different phases of the moon? How, how does this work? Well, the, 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 the prime answer to that is as the, the moon and the sun <clears throat> and the earth uh, in their orbits, uh, are the orbits of the, the earth and the, and the moon around the sun, Uh, It's more of an elliptical type orbit, so we have increases and decreases of gravity, and these increases and decreases of gravity can be can affect human behavior in uh, like hormone secretion and and uh, in our brain waves, and and these are the type of things that can cause human beings to feel well in the economic arena bearish or bullish, and in the psychology uh, arena it it can cause uh, people to be more uh, aggressive or, or even even depressed. Uh, what I looked at is all the different economic studies uh, as uh, uh, medical treatment uh, uh, at the best time to to give medical treatments to uh, patients. Uh, you know, or even personal fitness and, and, and other, you know. Is the circadian rhythm. Circadian kind of rhythms, yeah. right, right. What is the best time if you're going to give somebody chemotherapy? Would it be a full, would it be a full moon or a No, I don't look at, or? don't look at full moons or new moons. I measure exactly what the gravitational influences 
at different stages, uh, different orbital stages. Um, This is so fascinating. Robert Taylor, the book is called Paradigm. It's been re-released. A novel business week called The Da Vinci Code for the Wall Street Set. And uh, when we come back, I want to ask Robert Taylor a few more questions. Are you, you know... First of all, hey, let me ask you before we go to the break, you were in the construction field, as I recall. You were a very prominent, uh, you know, builder. Right. Uh, in the southeast, I think it was. And uh, did you have a background in science? Because uh, is there hope for me? Can I make a scientific discovery? <laughs> no, well, no, no, other than my college courses, no, I didn't have a great. But I had a lot of influence from some good people. <laughs> <laughs> all right, stay here. Robert Taylor. Does gravity affect the stock market? What else could you predict possibly using gravitational influences? Robert Taylor, the book's called Paradigm. The website is x9t, x9t.com. Stay here. The Gabriel Wisdom Show and GabrielWisdom.com. Money doesn't talk, it swears. This is the language you will not be hearing tonight. Financial Wisdom with Gabriel Wisdom. Financial Wisdom on the radio. After that, the podcast at businesstalkradio.net or gabrielwisdom.com. Robert Taylor joins us from Atlanta, Georgia. Robert Taylor was uh, nominated for a Nobel Prize in economics in the year 2000. And uh, the paper that uh, led to the nomination uh, describes the effects of gravity in our solar system uh, here on the Earth uh, on stock markets, financial markets, on human behavior. Gravitational fluctuations directly influence a lot of things, and it was described in The Taylor Effect, Robert Taylor's book, is uh, re-released now. It's called Paradigm, a novel business week called The Da Vinci Code for the Wall Street Sets. Good book. I uh, enjoyed reading it uh, and the first uh, the first time around, uh, and it's been re-released. Did you uh, update some of the material in Paradigm, Robert? I did not, Gabe. I you doesn't know, really I, need it. I mean, it, well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, gra- gravity hasn't changed, right? They haven't no, changed no. the the rules. It's, uh, that still works the same way, and hopefully, it continues. <laughs> <laughs> the website, by the way, is x nine the number nine t as in tango x nine t dot com. You'll see uh, how these predictions have worked out over the past uh, what seven years now. I think it is. A little over seven and a half years yeah, now, right? Yeah. What else can you predict using gravitational uh, forces? Well, in our studies, uh, in 94, I released my first book, and it had to do with studies on uh, other arenas other than economics. And one, one was uh, eating habits and eating disorders. And we were able to find uh, at what specific times of day do people eat more, order more, do restaurants. Uh, fill up a little bit better during lunches or dinners. Uh, we did a study mm. with Red Lobster, and they told us that they always had better uh, dinner hours than they did lunch hours, and we proved to them in a very short time that if during these particular periods they would have larger crowds <clears throat> during their lunch hours. And uh, the interesting thing about that, it helped them with staffing and, and uh, ordering food. Uh, sales performances were phenomenal. We found that if sales... Uh, representatives went out and pitched their deals that during certain times they could increase their sales percentages from uh, around the 30 percentile national average to up near 60 percent. Hmm. Uh, a lot of other little ones. We I think so. Gravity makes us feel either uh, well up or down, kind of like kind of like the the trillions of gallons of water on the planet that go that goes up and down with gravity. Oh, exactly. Uh, every single day, I, I suppose if if we're made mostly from Water, we that's are. That's what they say. Mm, then yeah. it would affect us too. So, where where can people see evidence that the Taylor effect works? The well, most well, early on, you know, when we we, we finalized all these studies, we realized that you know, in each arena there's experts, and it'd be awful difficult to prove this in every single one of them. I proved it by correlating it. But in the economic arena, the website that you've been mentioning is the most dramatic way. In the back of the book, Paradigm, uh, I also publish exactly how anybody can prove this for themselves. Uh, Just by grabbing a hold of a real simple uh, program, they could produce the same uh, 
uh, basically sine waves that I'm producing and correlate them with uh, market movements. And uh, there, it's a little bit more complicated than what I do, but you can find the basic uh, uh, correlation uh, just by reading the back of my book yeah. and prove it for yourself. Yeah. Now, on the website, uh, X9T, X9er, T as in tango, uh, dot com, where you view the current of the past forecast from the stock market vis-a-vis gravitational fluctuations. Your forecasts seem to be usually two weeks in advance. Why two weeks? Well, what I do is uh, the, the for, the each, each movement, each cycle or sine wave is typically between six and nine days. So I like to provide about a 17 to 20-day forecast so that traders, whether they're uh, scalp traders or futures traders or equity traders, options or whatever they're trading, uh, they know in advance when there's a turning point and the market's going to change direction, <clears throat> they can plan in advance when that's going to happen and see where the next uh, bottom or top's going to be afterwards. And then once a week, I update the forecast to, to validate or to make slight changes where a top, uh, uh, you, you know, with momentum in the market and volatility in the market, if I have a top on a Thursday, it could change to where the top's going to be, you know, on Friday mm-hmm. instead. So okay. the weekly updates uh, help traders uh, know when to pull the trigger and when to get in and out. Hmm. Robert Taylor, a Nobel Prize nominee from uh, the Taylor Effect paper that he wrote back in, uh, I guess it was the late 1990s, and he was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Economics in the year 2000. His book is called Paradigm, which has been re-released. Uh, great book. I enjoyed it. The website, x9t.com, where you'll view current and past forecasts. Robert D. Taylor from Atlanta, right here on the Gabriel Wisdom Show, the Business Talk Radio Network. Are you still a nominee for the Nobel Prize, Robert? Well, that, is, that doesn't go away. I, I may never get it, but the nomination doesn't go away. Uh, usually you have to make some kind of a huge splash where every, your, your household name, and then finally they take notice of you and, and either give you something or they don't. But, hmm. uh, anyway. so, now, so you were working in the late 90s on this concept, this idea that you that you had about – gravitational fluctuations and how they influence human behavior and maybe influence the the markets you were i th- i think you were building houses or building large you know complexes f- in the in the southeast and you were doing this on the side how did you get the idea this well it was from a paper that uh well a friend of mine who's a road scholar and and been a long time friend uh was mentioning this particular paper to me, it was a fellow by the name of J.M. Hurst. He was a scientist that tried to, he tried for 11 years to be able to predict the stock market, and, and he made note that uh, something must be going on that he can't figure out because it kept uh, kept him in the dark. But he did mention that uh, human beings must be driven by something other than current events, and, uh, and, he, and he proposed the idea that when he was studying it, it was back in the 30s and 40s and they didn't have instantaneous financial news networks you know our our you know all the stuff that we deal with today the you know the cnbc's and all the all the periodicals but but everybody would start buying at the same time and around the world and everybody would start selling at the same time so he figured that there must be an outside driver that was influencing that. And, ah, and that was the light bulb moment. <clears throat> it was you. the light bulb moment for me, mm-hmm. and he, he speculated uh, gravitate, gravity or possibly uh, some kind of an emission from space or something, or yeah. electromagnetic energy or something. And people have been observing this for some time. Shakespeare wrote, There is a tide in the affairs of men which, taken at the flood, leads on to fortune. I saw that on your website. Yeah. <laughs> X9T. <laughs> Dot com. The book is called Paradigm, and written by our guest, Robert D. Taylor, The Taylor Effect. Read about it. Maybe try the, the uh, market forecast uh, free for two weeks at x9t.com. Robert Taylor, thanks, Robert. Thanks uh, to Chris, our producer. Thanks to Lou Ferrati in the first half, Mob Rules. Until next time, this is Gabriel Wisdom. Lady, lovely lady. The Gabriel Wisdom Show and GabrielWisdom.com. Lady.